Hey, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I'm currently in the Rubigo system, famous for Rubigo mines and that fantastic exploit that once was. Well, that's well been nerfed. But the question we're asking, can you still make money in Rubigo mines? So for this, I'm going to use the Python. Yes, indeed, the Python. And I'm going to fill that full of passenger cabins. And these passenger cabins are going to be economy. So <clears throat> with all that being said, let's get ourselves over to Rubigo and see what we can pick up. Now, like I mentioned, on the old mission boards, they're pretty barren. However, you're going to have to try and do some missions to candor some reputation and influence within the system. And that's going to basically mean doing combat missions. If you're not very good at combat, then this might not be for you. But you will be able to get some passenger missions that are going to pay you quite well without going through all the influence stuff. Plus, you can be donating money to build your influence up as well. Not ideal, but it's still a way of doing it. <clears throat> okay, into the passenger lounge. Let's see what it's got for us. Now, we're going to be trading between Rubigo and so this and in particular missions that point towards serious atmospherics now there's going to be loads of these as you can see serious atmospherics they're all there now i've used economy cabins simply because i'm going to be able to get about 15 to 20 million per run now each run is going to take me about 10 to 15 minutes really that's in between doing other things while it's going on, in between stations, you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, it's going to be between 10 and 15 minutes, right? So 20 million, let's go crazy and call it 10 minutes, you know, 20 million times six, that's 120 million an hour, give or take. I would say. And and that's not bad money. Now it's not exciting money. It's a bit brain numbing. And there is going to be a bit of a grind going on. Now we're not going to start bitching about the grind. And how geary grind it is. And it's all about grinding. And oh, we're going to need money to get money quicker. And all this. It is what it is. We're just going to get on with it. Right? And if you want that shiny new crate. Or that lovely chieftain. When the next chapter drops. you gotta you got to go through a bit of pain. So I'm filling up the cabins, making a bit of money, but my calculations is about 16 million. That's not bad. I'm quite happy with that. You know, go through, cherry pick all the missions that you want to, to do it. Don't just go for the first ones. Have a good look through. There's not many to choose from. There's only three sort of like factions, as it were, or three people giving out the missions in system. So go through and make some, some cunning selections. Now, it was about three jumps for me in the Python, because my Python's only got a 24 light year jump range. Um, so you're going to have to sort of like tough it out. So it's going to be a couple of jumps. Be careful, don't get interdicted. That's going to be half the problem when doing this sort of thing. And don't get scanned, because if you've got illegal passengers in there as well. They're not going to like it. They're going to eject themselves out, and then you've lost a bit of money. So a bit like the SAS, right? Get in there. Do what you got to do. And get out. Right? In, out, shake it all about. I mean, I was getting interdicted by people in Sidewinders and Vipers. And, you know, the Python's pretty heavily armed, to be fair. You know, I enjoyed it. A little bit of combat does break it up, you know, does break up the boredom. Uh, so feel free to, like, get in there and mix it up if you want to. But you may incur the, dis the displeasure of your passengers. So once you've done it, and once you've got to this serious atmospherics beacon, you're going to approach it, you're going to drop in, you're going to scan that beacon, and then once you've scanned the beacon, it's time to foxtrot Oscar and get back to Rubigo. It's as easy as that. So here we are, we're on approach. It's round, um, so this, A5. So head on over to that. It's not too far. It's going to take you a couple of minutes. Make sure you approach the beacon. As soon as you get near that red 
mark you can power up your engines and then just be careful when you, you drop out and you're gonna see the standard stuff when you're there you're gonna see belugas you're gonna see orcas you're gonna see dolphins you know the standard stuff you've all seen it before so here we go we're finally getting there we're gonna get that drop out here it is we're dropping out there's the beacon we're scanning you see a few people in the area you don't want your passengers scanned though there you go we got the information ping 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 time to leave time to get back to Rubigo. plot your route you can see it's a couple of jumps and it's off ski so we're finally back we're back in the robigo system and robigo mines we're gonna get to that station we're gonna dock up and we are gonna cash in baby and get that sort of money that we've been advertising so all that done now i mean it's been about okay i've trimmed the video down but it's been about 10 12 minutes so as you can see you if you don't mess about and you stay on message you can get in there get back no dramas now i mean rubigo mines has had a bit of a reputation in the past you know as being an exploit like i said uh those slave missions are gone now i mean you used to get in there used to dock fill up your cargo full of slaves and then i think what you if i can remember rightly what you had to do then was then um discard the mission and sell the slaves back then to the system and and, and you or to the station and then you would be making huge amounts 10 15 million and you wouldn't even leave the landing pad but not like this this is the way the game is meant to be played so you can either go for the many option or you can go for rare materials or other items completely up to you but we're all about the money though i do tend to do some runs and as a result of that i tend to go for some materials all depends how i'm feeling it's completely up to you so this is what it's been this has been can you make money in rubigo mines Oh yes you can and it's going to be between 15 to 20 million every 10 to 15 minutes okay so like I say this has been 12 minutes we've had about a good 16 17 million I've been happy with that but plus in addition to this you also gain Explorer rank all right so all is not lost you can get that elite Explorer rank and with advanced rank it's gonna come advanced missions anyway I've been Ricardo Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed and you like what you're seeing and you're still with us, like and subscribe. However, look at the Discord as well. Quite a bit of discussion going on there and the link is in the description. Fly safe, see you soon and check out for more videos in the series.